It is about lunchtime here in Chongqing, China, and usually I do come to eat in such places along the road, but today we are gonna go to IFS, which is the financial center, and we're gonna go inside the mall and explore the food court. There is an expensive hotel over here that has probably a very, very nice view. Here we do have some of the food possibilities on level three, two, and one. All these buildings over here are offices, and that's where people work. But uh, if you want to go shop in Valentino or uh, very, very big brands, you can enter one of these places. And then if you actually go downstairs, you will be able to find the mall and the food court. Here we're getting all the lunchtime deliveries. People happy getting their food and running back to the office or you can go downstairs. Just on the other side of the IFS, there is the huge river. Did you know that Chongqing... <laughs> Did you know that Chongqing has 14,000 bridges? <laughs> Valentino, Duar, Fendi, I don't know, Alexander Santi McQueen, very huge tower, but we are going on this side where there is a, an incredible and super romantic panda giving roses to Julia, which is a very good friend of mine. The Chris Steakhouse is pretty expensive, but we are going downstairs. Oh my gosh, Julia made me notice something incredible. There is a restaurant with a very pretty name. Let's poo. <laughs> Let's not poo right now, maybe after eating. Thank you. And here the food court possibilities. Very nice. And uh, we are out. If you speak English, this one is a funny shop. Uh, Judy is supposed to be a girl, but it's called Mr. Mr. Judy. Cool. Look, a bit futuristic. Also, there is a place where you can do some ice skating over there. And uh, her dish is huge. And what I love is that you can see the dishes, which is my main thing as a foreigner. It's so complicated to read the menus, guys. When you know exactly what you're gonna get, it's probably duck. I can recognize the food from its shape, colors. Here, we do have multiple dishes, the chef preparing it. Yes, you tried a lot of these noodles already. Yeah, I tried the... I think we'll try something different. <laughs> yeah, I tried the so many noodles, every day a different plate of noodles. Here, they look so colorful, wow. I'll show you my favorite dumpling place. Oh, I see. That's so pretty. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay, these are all the stuffings we can choose. Which one do you think we should go for? I uh, I would suggest meat and maybe the, I think the veggies all over the meat. Oh okay, okay, okay. And these are the prices. Yeah. Twenty two is like three dollar something. I think this is for a, uh, like a smaller portion. Yeah. We're you gonna take a smaller and share it. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe this one? Yeah, let, let's go for that one. Absolutely. Let's try it. And here, that's where they cook the dumplings. As you can see, they do not mix. And on this side, we can add something spicy and other flavors. I will send you back the cash later. I need to use the camera with the phone, so I cannot play with the phone. Complicated vlogger life. Take a while for them to yeah, that's fine. So let's keep looking. Okay. Another favorite of mine is here, and maybe the viewers can tell if it's a local food because I'm not sure. This, this is like oh. a mini sandwich. You're not sure if it is Chinese. I get well, it. Well, it is Chinese. <laughs> but I don't know if it's authentic to this region. Ah, you know? I see. I see. No. <laughs> we have this. Yoda. Yoda has been learning some Chinese. Uh, do you want chicken, beef, or pork? Beef, beef. The ingredients they are using, these are the possible dishes, and that's the kind of panini sandwiches that she was mentioning. That's probably how they do open them up and uh, insert the ingredients. Is it like bread or is it another type? Okay, okay, okay. That's pretty cool. Guys, check out how clean is this place. So many people here during the lunch break, but if you come later in the day, you will be eating by yourself, which is also pretty cool if you want to listen to some music or watch my YouTube videos. Please subscribe. Okay, okay. Yeah. That was so easy and quick. Maybe not, maybe not. And you don't have to Oh, no. <laughs> this looks pretty good too. Yeah, but the, the sandwich seems more appealing. 
I'll show you another one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. this one. Look at that. You can choose three oh, or four it's already prepared. little dishes. Let's see, let's see. And and these are the prices for for plate for yeah. dish. They are really really pretty. Yeah. What I've been noticing about yeah, the Chinese yeah. culture is that people share food a lot. Like you order multiple plates, you put them on the ground. I mean on the, on the table. English is my third language, and you you share them with your friends, which is beautiful. Now let's see if our dumplings are ready, boiling and fresh. I guess we have to prepare one of the sauces. Mm -hmm. wow. well, which sauce do you like? Let's see the expert. Just a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I think we should put some soya in here. Do you think they mix them? Yeah. Or probably to keep the stuff fresh, you need to mix them at the moment and not before. Uh... Let's just put a little bit. Everything uh, is super, super fresh in this place. So I do think our sandwiches are ready. I'll carry this one over there and we got the dumplings. I'm a huge dumpling fan being half Polish and half Italian. In Italian is ravioli, in Poland is pierogi. So guys, they look beautiful, super, super fresh. They smell good too. Hopefully, Julia made a good choice. So let's go try them. Thank you. So you try this first and let me know what you think. So here we are, guys. That's the inside of this sandwich. Beef and some veggies. Also spicy, probably. Very crunchy. I do recognize the Chinese flavor so that it's not so common in Europe. And my mouth is probably dirty, but it's actually very nice. But I would say it's more of a snack for me, not a full meal. But it's really nice, thank you. It also kind of reminds me of some Arabic Egyptian food. Very nice. So here we are about to try these dumplings. They look exactly like in Poland. I mean, there are some dumplings that they go inside the soup in Poland that they look very similar to those. Chopsticks. Very, very hard thing to get used to. I'm just able to crack them. They did teach me some techniques, but depending on the day, I wake up in a different mood and a different way of holding them. That's the first sauce we're gonna try. Let's see what Julia made. I already changed the position of how <laughs> I already hold the chopsticks in a different position, not the official one. But a little dip, backhand became red. Approved. Better than in Poland? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would need to cancel this part of the video. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, it's completely different. So guys, work, lunch, break. Serious people, ladies, and uh, the high skating over here. So, guys, what I usually get are noodles in these uh, huge bowls. The main reason I do it is to save money on water, <laughs> so I drink directly from the bowl. But let's see what else could be super appealing to eat over here. These are probably ducks, chickens. Oh, they look so nice. Chicken feet. Chicken feet. Ah, they were there. Yes. I see. I see. Well, what is this thing? It looks like a pe penguin. <laughs> Noodles are the easiest thing to eat for me to eat, along with uh, rice dishes. But let's find out what else can we get. Oh yeah, dry noodles and uh, fried rice. This is egg and even a little heart. Wow. Reminds me of Thailand. Uh, Pineapple and uh, rice inside it. Here, dishes are ready. These are the warm ones. We already know the dumplings. And uh, what else can we get here? Look at them, they look super fresh. I am trying to learn Chinese, but my pronunciation is so bad that I don't wanna try it on video for now. I just wanna try food. I already eaten from this place. This guy remembers me. Look at this super, super fresh. Everything you see over here. Looks very, very appealing, but also spicy. Man, this guy eats the same quantities as me. I do eat a lot. Well, you can try this, but yeah. this is quite fatty, it seems. It's okay. Hey. What do you feel like trying? 
Cauliflower. <laughs> She's always on a diet. No, no. I would say. Oh, look at that. Yeah. That could be good. Bacon. Okay. Then let's go for that one and a bowl of rice. Okay. This is the way to eat. Just ask them if you can join them. See you next time. You see guys, it is so common to share food over here. You take a huge plate and you divide it between people. Like in this situation and many others. Or you take 100 million tiny plates. That's beautiful. I think we booked this corner for the entire day. We're gonna try pork, because pork is the most famous dish here in China. And some probably fried rice with... Uh, corn. Corn. Is it corn? I thought it was going to be mango. <laughs> Sticky mango rice or something like that. Let's try. There is something under it. I think there are some veggies. But on top, we could use this to make uh, some pasta carbonara, maybe. Sweet. It melts in your mouth completely, completely. Now let's go for the rice. <laughs> this is a disaster. Julia, Julia, you cannot bring me around. Uh, you should be ashamed. <laughs> oh. Nice, very simple. Nothing special to be honest. The meat is melting completely in your mouth. Now let's try to get the veggies down here. And uh, nice. Also reminds me of some Polish food. Cabbages, very well cooked. And I made my trousers. Look. I cannot behave in public. My trousers are already dirty. 